14 of Vlogmas. It is very early, but I need to get some of my home rendered lard out. I meant to do it last night and I forgot. So I'm going to let it sit on the counter for a little bit. And according to my schedule today, the 14th is pie crust. I'm going to make up my pie crust for my Christmas um, dessert, Christmas dinner dessert. And I'm going to, I think I can leave them in the fridge. I'm just going to double check. I think we're, you know, not that many days away. It's 10 days to Christmas Eve. I think I can keep them in the refrigerator, but if not, I'm going to throw them into the freezer. And it's going to be an easy day today because I can't sleep because I have a dentist appointment this morning. And going to the dentist is not fun for me. <laughs> So we are going to get that done today. I'm going to make a cup of tea and uh, yeah, pray that my visit goes well and I can do a, do these when we come home. I think I'll be able to handle these at least because it's easy. And uh, yeah, I'm not on camera yet because it literally is not quite six. I've been up since 4.30 and y'all don't need to see that. I'm back from the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to see me finally because I didn't show myself this morning. <laughs> You're welcome. So, um, dentist went okay. A little bit of pain. I've taken something. I'm sucking it up because I have to finish this video today for you because I made a commitment to do a video every day for Vlogmas for, to myself and I want to keep it. Um, I was going to go live tonight. That's been postponed to this Saturday, the 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern. So, come on by. We'll be chatting in the um, chat. Um, about Vlogmas, Christmas, anything you want. <laughs> so come on by 7 p.m. Saturday. Hopefully I have one more dental visit. Uh, hopefully any discomfort I'm experiencing will be gone by Saturday. Fingers crossed. So yes, we are going to make some pie crust and get it all done so I don't have to worry about it for Christmas. Now, raise your hands if pie crust has ever made you cry. Oh my goodness, I tried making my own pie crust forever, forever. I don't know how my grandmothers did it. Um, I have tried so many recipes. Perfect, uh, never fail pie crust. That was my favorite one I heard. Never fail pie crust recipe. It failed every time. <laughs> every time. So I would buy it, but I never felt good buying it because I could never find like a one that had ingredients I could be okay with. There is one that's not bad, but it wasn't perfect. And I wanted to make my own. I'm like, come on, Lynn, let's make this. So about two years ago, roughly, I found Ina Garten's perfect pie crust recipe. And Ina Garten is the um, Barefoot Contessa. If you watch, I used to love the show. I actually have one of her cookbooks. Um, anyway, I found her recipe and I tried it. And it worked. It worked. And I'm like, okay, this was a good, well, it has worked every time I have made pie crust. I love this recipe. <laughs> it's easy. Now, there are a couple of tips I've learned, and I'm not an expert, but this learned from my failures. Um, definitely everything needs to be cold, 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 cold. The water needs to be ice cold. The butter needs to be frozen. The shortening, that's the other trick. Part of it is butter and part of it is lard. Um, she calls for vegetable shorting in her recipe, but I use my home um, rendered uh, lard, leaf lard that I did last year, and that has made the world of difference with this pie. Um, one of my other tips here um, is shred, keep your butter fro frozen and shred it like you would cheese. Another tip is even better is if you get somebody else to shred it for you, especially if you don't like shredding butter or cheese. <laughs> So thank you to my husband. He's the greater in this house for the most part. I will say it's hard on my hands with my um, problems that I have, but very much appreciate it. So he shredded all that up for me and I've kept it in my refrigerator with my shortening and my water. I'm keeping them nice and nice, icy, icy cold until I absolutely need them. I'm also doubling my recipe today. I am going to give you the ingredients for two 10 inch crust but I am making four all together. Um, this way, because if you're gonna make pie crust, you might as well make a few and you can keep them frozen. I only need probably one, maybe maybe two for Christmas, um, but the other two I can freeze and have them prepared for pot pies or other uh, pie, you know, fruit pies or dessert pies or anything you need a pie crust for. So the ingredients are 
12 tablespoons of very cold unsalted butter, three cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, a third cup of very cold shortening or lard, this is what I'm using, and six to eight tablespoons of very cold water, depending. The other tip I can give you, I have found that makes a world of difference, is a food processor. A food processor. I've had the pastry cutters. Nope, didn't work. Um, I've done everything, but the food processor, because it can chop up the butter and the shortening small enough and incorporate it perfectly, and you don't have to keep trying to knead it all in, because the less you handle pie dough, the better. So because we're using a food making pie crust and we need a food processor, I ta -da, am using the Ninja that we got for Christmas for each other, the food processor part. And I'm so excited I'm gonna name her. <laughs> it's already, so this holds eight cups. My old one only held six. And it's just, it has different buttons. It has this little vent. Let me see if I can show you this. This little vent thing here on the back. My old one did not have that. It looks different. It feels different. I am so excited. It's supposedly stronger too, I guess. A couple hundred watts stronger than our old one. So we're gonna try this out together for the first time. So I'm so excited. Okay, okay, Lynn, breathe. So in this, right now, I have doubled everything. So I've got um, six cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar. And we are going to, okay, it's just like our old one. Put this on, even this, my old one didn't have this little window thing. <laughs> so we're gonna line them up, maybe, uh-oh. Am I not lining them up right? Arrow. There we go. And we're just going to pulse. If I can figure it out. Um, oh, low. It tells you how long you've been pulsing. Look, it has the numbers. That is so cool. Is it how long or how many turns? Oh, it has a dough. I didn't know it had a dough button. So it has a dough button, a chop button. I hope that's coming in. Let's see. There we go. Dough button, chop button, extraction button, which we did not have in our old one. Ice crush button, smoothie. I didn't have any of these. And then we also have low, medium, high, and pulse. I kind of had these, but they were a little bit different. And of course the timer. So that is pretty cool. I, I already love it, so let's see how we keep going. All right, so now that we have just kind of mixed up our dry ingredients, I'm gonna go grab my cold ingredients, and you are zoomed in there. There we go. We are gonna put in our butter and shortening. Pulse that eight to 12 times until the butter is like the size of a pea, and then we will slowly add a tablespoon of water at a time. And I can do that through my little feed window do, 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 on this one. So I'm just gonna grab the um, butter and the shortening. Before we get to the butter, I forgot to tell you all, what do you think of my new sweatshirt? <laughs> I purposely left my apron off so I could show you all. Doesn't it look like our Lily girl? And it is so soft and comfortable. I love it. It's so great. I think it's so cute. So I just wanted to show that all to you. So now I can put my apron on after I've already gotten all the flour all over me. So I just want to show you all. This is what 24 tablespoons of butter shredded looks like. I ended up having to put out three bowls of it. And that's our shortening. But that that's a lot of butter. <laughs> but remember, this is for pie crust. <laughs> be sure to hit that thumbs up. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. Okay, so we're gonna get, so, and I put a couple ice cubes in my water to keep that nice and cold, where I took that out too. And I just gotta try and get all this butter out of here. Oh, my butter is stuck to my lid. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Yep. Okay.
Might not have been a great idea, Lynn, to double this recipe. But okay, so I have learned something today. Don't ever, ever double <laughs> the pie recipe in the Ninja Food Processor. I'm sure there were a lot of you screaming at your phones or your TV or whatever saying, Lynn, that's never going to fit. Because I end up, as you can probably tell from the mess here on my table, oh, it's a mess everywhere. Um, I end up having to take it out and kind of do it in batches. Um, I think it's still going to be okay because it feels like the right consistency. Um, there's little bits of butter doo, 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 all throughout it. But yeah, that, that was not a good idea. <laughs> I really thought it would all fit, but when the butter, when it came to the butter, it was bad, 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 bad. So um, we're gonna divide these up. <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna knead it a little bit. Oh yeah, I see lots of chunks of butter. That's what I want to see. So that's perfect. Like, there's little bits of butter all throughout. So that's what we want. I'm just gonna knead it very little. And we're gonna divide this. Actually, I might weigh it so I know how many discs to make. Okay, 15.53. Okay, so they need to be 388 grams a piece. Too much. Perfect. day 14 <laughs> I have a heck of a mess <laughs> to clean up here I was gonna make elderberry syrup gummies I made my elderberry um, juice last night but in my syrup actually yes I did the juice and then I made the syrup but I'm not gonna push my luck because I'm feeling like that could have been a disaster and I've already had a disaster with those elderberry gummies so um, we'll make them on another day coming up soon I want to make them sooner than later <laughs> so we will be making them and I'm gonna end it here We'll see you back here tomorrow for day 15, which is part of the cookie collab that I am a part of. And tomorrow is the last day. So hashtag ultimate cookies 23. Make sure you um, watch all the videos with that hashtag and I'll, I'll link it here. I'll put the hashtag here. Um, so you can go comment and you have until December 20th. And then Ashley, who's hosting the collab is going to be drawing the names for that. So go catch up on all those great cookie videos and be sure to come back here tomorrow for not for day 15 for the cookie collab. We'll see you then.